How are you all? I hope you are all fine and stay at your home. It's Kanika Gupta here. And today I'm going to explain you the most important topic of physics, which is about friction. So let's get started. The question arises that what is friction? Friction is a type of contact force always tries to oppose the motion of an object. This is a force that always acts in opposite direction. Okay? For example, if we go in the right direction, the friction will act in the left direction. If we go right, then friction will act in the left direction. If we go in the left direction, then friction will act in the right direction. And the main key points of friction we have to remember is that it is a type of contact force. And it is an opposing force. It always tries to oppose the motion. And the main point of friction is that it only acts on the moving bodies. ये तभी act करता है जब कोई body move करती है. For example, if I am I am walking, if I tend to walk, then the friction will act and it tries to stop me. Okay? Let me give let me show you an activity. Here is a book kept on a table. यहाँ पर एक book है जो table पर रखी हुई है. And now I will apply a force. To move this book. Okay. I will push this book. What happens? It moves. But it stops after some time. Why? The reason behind that. The reason behind that is that. Uh, that uh, friction always acts in the opposite direction. This activity shows that there must be some external force. Which must be acting on the surface. Which tries to stop the book. Yahan par jarur hi. कोई एक ऐसी फोर्स है जो इस बुक को स्टॉप करना चाहता है। This force is known as frictional force. Let me explain you with my presentation. Okay. So what is friction? I already explained you. This force always acts when a body tries to move over the other surface. हम देख ही चुके हैं जब कोई रफ सरफेस पर या कोई भी सरफेस पर अगर कोई भी चीज मूव करेगी तो फ्रिक्शन एक्ट करेगा। for example, pushing a book, हमने book को push किया, friction act हुआ, pulling a wheelchair, okay, it always acts in opposite direction, हम देख ही चुके हैं, अब question होता है, that how many types of friction are there, there are three types of friction, static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, opposing force है, मैं बता ही चुकी हूँ, type of contact force है, always comes into play when a body is in contact, the main point, the main key point of friction we have to remember always comes in, always comes into play when a body is in contact. ये तभी act करता है जब कोई body contact में होती है. Example, pushing a book, pushing a box, we have seen that. Okay, now, okay, now we have to see that how to increase and decrease friction. हम friction को बढ़ाएं कैसे? और हम friction को decrease कैसे करें? तो हम देख चुके, देख रहे हैं कि let me explain. If if I am riding a bicycle and in the opposite direction a vehicle comes immediately and I have to and we are we should apply a brakes so that our vehicle can stop right yes this we do to increase friction so that we can get stopped right so this shows that brake packs reduces friction brake packs reduces friction okay see how to increase friction Smooth surface increase friction and wet surface also increases friction. Spikes on shoes. See here. You can see there that spikes on shoes are there to increase friction. Okay. While playing football, we use spike shoes so that we can move roughly and we can achieve our points. How to decrease friction? Using lubricants. Lubricants? What are lubricants? Such as greasing, oiling, or all these are parts of lubricants and all are these examples of lubricants. See, uh, if uh, on a bicycle, we apply a grease on a chain so that it can move smoothly and we can ride a bicycle uh, carefully, right? So this means we are lubricating to reduce friction, okay? Here. Using telsum powder. While playing carom board at your home, we use telsum powder so that while striking, we can score a point. Right? Yes. Using brake pads. I already told you. And using wheels and trolley bags. Right. Here. Here it is showing that using wheels in a trolley bags reduces friction. 
This shows that wheels reduces friction. Okay. And let me conclude. Let me conclude this session. It is a type of contact force. It is a type of contact force. It is an opposing force. Always comes into play when a body is in contact. And the main point. It always acts on all the moving bodies. And it only acts on the moving bodies. If any body moves, it will always act. And thank you for watching my video. Press the like button, comment and share. And hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.